Hey guys, welcome back. So until now, uh, we have seen a lot of different um, APIs uh, and we have tested it using the REST Assured library, right? Um, but don't you think it would be nice if you have your own API server, like the backend server, um, to which you can send your own requests and then you could get the response back. You can actually develop um, or you can decide what the JSON body would look like. So everything is under your control and not you, uh, you're not dependent on an external API, right? So this would be the best thing um, if you have your own API server against which you can do as much testing as you want or whatever uh, you want to test or you want to experiment. It would be a great thing to do, right? So that's what uh, today I'm going to show you how you can set up a REST API server without writing a single piece of code. Now, I'm not the um, uh, brain behind this um, masterpiece, but there is a team of developers who have been kind enough to write this particular code behind all this and put it on GitHub for free, right? So do visit um, this link, github.com slash typecode slash JSON server, where you will see um, they have put all the information regarding how you can set up a full fake REST API with zero coding, right? And the setup is pretty simple and very easy, which I'm going to show you in this video for um, so that you can easily follow that and um, get your server up and running, right? Now, there are a few things to take care before you actually jump into this um, kind of get get started with this JSON server, right? So before that, uh, we need to have Node.js installed on our machine, okay? Now, depending on um, the type of operating system you have, uh, Mac OS or Windows, uh, you can download this um, MSI or, uh, or the zip for Windows. Uh, for Mac OS, it would be tar, uh, gz. For Linux, you can uh, download the binaries, right? So it's a very simple installation. You just need to, if you are working on Windows, just download this installer and uh, it's like a simple um, double click the installer and it will take you to the install steps, right? So once you have um, successfully downloaded and installed uh, Node.js, right? The simple way to verify it is open a command prompt and just type node-v and it should give you this version, which is 12.16.3, right? So that's the latest version, which I have on my Windows machine. And that's the only prerequisite for you um, before you jump onto the uh, steps to uh, get started with the installing the JSON server, right? So uh, so this is a what, um, it's a NPM module. So we can use the um, NPM install to basically install this JSON server, right? So let's go ahead and do that. So the G uh, implicates that you want to install it globally on your machine, okay, for all the users. So npm install g and json server. Okay, um, it may take some time uh, depending on um, where you are installing it and if you are installing it for the first time. Okay, let me pause this video for a few seconds uh, until it completes. Okay, so um, as you can see, it is completed now and you can see this uh, output JSON server at 0.16.3. So that's the version. So that's all you need to do in order to install your own JSON server. Now, the other thing which, you need, which we need is the JSON file, right? So it's kind of some data which we want to create on the server so that we can interact with that using the API requests. Okay, so uh, this is the sample db.json file. Uh, basically, you can create your own db.json file. Doesn't matter what the data is inside that. Uh, we are, it's just for testing purpose, right? So accordingly, um, I have actually created a few more kind of um, elements inside this JSON file, right? So I have three posts and three comments um, accordingly. I would use this. So let, let's create this in, 
inside some folder. So as I am inside this user, I would create this file inside in this folder. So let's create a file here called db.json. Okay, and then let me edit this. And uh, we are going to paste it here. Um, just to make sure this is not a txt file because I want it to be a JSON file, right? So we'll call it db.json and not db.json.txt, okay? So that's the file and I will remove this one because this is a txt file which we don't want. So this adjacent file is our db.json file, right? So if you want, um, we can edit and see. This looks like a JSON file, which has got this elements inside this, okay? So um, that's there. Now the next step is to start the JSON server, right? So we need to start the JSON server using that db.json file. So using the watch command, it will keep on watching. So whatever changes I make in this JSON file, it will start reflecting automatically on the server. Okay, so we'll see that. So let's start this server, JSON server, watch db.json. Okay, so it's saying loading uh, db.json and there is some error seems. Okay, let's correct that. Yeah, so I forgot to give the com commas here. That's not a valid JSON file. Okay, so now it should be fine. Let's do that again. Okay, so now um, the db.json file is loaded. Our um, server, JSON server is up and running. You can see there are, these are the resources. So URIs you can see, right? So you can directly go into a local host into this URL to get this response back. Right, so we have post, comment, and profile. And this is our homepage. Right now, this is, uh, you can say it, it, it will continue running until you don't end it because it is watching this particular file. Any change I make, it is going to reflect it on the server, okay? Now, as you can see here, right? Uh, this is the URL which they have given us. So if I go and navigate here, you will see it will give me the response as the db in the db.json what we have um, inserted, right? The same data would be posted here. So this is the request which I'm sending to the server and this is the response I'm getting back, right? Similarly, if I do comments, right? So this is my comment section. Okay, so now before um, we wrap up, so let me show you um, how it is impacting this particular watch, right? How it is automatically doing this, right? On the server. So, say for example, I kind of create another comment here, right? I add another comment in this JSON file. I make it four. and four, okay? And I save it. And you will see here that it is telling automatically db.json has changed reloading and it is loaded the db.json file. So now if I kind of say comments, right? 
you will see instead of three, it would be start reflecting my uh, change automatically and instantly on the server, right? So it has now got four comments instead of three because I just appended this. So that's how easy uh, to set up your own JSON server and start testing your REST APIs uh, you, using uh, REST Assure or if you're using any other tool like Postman, you can also use this in Postman also, right? You just need to um, give that URL and you can do any kind of um, API requests, right? So um, before uh, we kind of end, right? Um, let me also show you how you can use this in the test shoot, right? So that's the whole purpose of doing this. So let's create a simple test here and we will say public void. Um, I'm going to say um, get from local JSON server, okay. And then I'm going to say given dot when dot get. Okay, so we need to give the URL here. So let's get the URL like this. And then I'm going to say then log and body. Yes. So our code is um, the same. The only thing changing is the server, which is now our own API server, right? Or which is hosted on the local host. So let's run this and see if we are getting the same results, expected results or not. Okay, so this is the JSON body, um, which is which we are getting as response. Now you can perform all, all validations here, right? You can um, verify each and every node here, which you want to verify. You can play around uh, with all your request types, different request types in this um, JSON body, which we have created. You can also play around the actual content which is hosted on the server. So it's pretty useful um, if if you ask me, right? So uh, to wrap up, um, this is how you can host your own JSON server um, on your local host and start playing with your APIs. Um, you can start testing your API requests. This is very useful if um, you want to uh, go ahead and uh, if you're either developing any APIs or you want to test your APIs. If you want a backend server which can work, this is um, the thing to go. And uh, thanks to uh, these developers who have actually developed this, the contributors who have been contributing this to this particular uh, GitHub uh, code base, right? So I hope you like this video. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave it in the comments um, or any feedback, please pass, pass back to me and keep watching. Um, I will be coming up with some other content um, on this rest assured APIs. Thank you and see you in the next video.